Your Highnesses, Excellencies, Namaskar. Before I officially start this meeting, I would like to give you a message on behalf of all of us. We would like to offer our deepest condolences to the effects of the earthquake in Morocco, which has been reported recently. I pray that all the injured will recover at the earliest. In this difficult time, the entire world, the entire international community stands with Morocco, and we will we are ready to send them the best possible assistance. Your Highnesses, Your Highnesses Excellencies, Excellencies, India, as President of the G20, warmly welcomes all of you. Just a few kilometers from where we are gathered today stands a pillar, a pillar that is 2,500 years old. And on this pillar, in Prakrit language, is inscribed, Hevam Lukasa, Hitmukheti, Atha, Yam, Natisu Hevam. This means, may the welfare and happiness of mankind be ensured at all times. 2,500 years ago, this land, India, gave this message to the world. So, bearing this message in mind, let us now begin this G20 summit. This period in the 21st century is a time to give the entire world a new direction. It is a time in which age-old challenges are demanding new solutions from us, and therefore it is with a human-centric approach that we must fulfill each of our responsibilities and move forward. Friends, after the COVID-19 pandemic, the world is now going through a major crisis, and that is a lack of trust. War has further deepened this trust deficit. If we can defeat COVID, we can President of the G20, India. मैनेजमेंट हो टेररिज्म और साइबर सिक्योरिटी हो हेल्थ एनर्जी और वाटर सिक्योरिटी हो वाटर सिक्योरिटी वी हैव टू मूव टुवर्ड कंक्रीट सॉल्यूशंस 
for these challenges, not only for the present generation, but also for the generations to come. Friends, India's G20 presidency has become a symbol of inclusion with a spirit of together with all, both within and outside the country. In India, this became the People's G20, and millions of Indians became a part of it. More than 200 meetings were organized in over 60 cities in the country. It is in the spirit of Together With All that India proposed permanent membership for the African Union in the G20. I am confident that uh, we have a consensus on this proposal. With your concurrence, before we proceed, I would like to invite the chair of the African Union to take his place as a permanent member of the G20. Excellency, please.